Hey guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Maya is depressed because we gotta go to a carnival and dig around for clues again, which means probably talking to the ventriloquist again. And Mo, and yeah, it's this. Uh... Nick, will this chapter ever end? I'm trying, Maya. Uh, what what's the matter? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Okay, that's that's kind of the point. What? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? Yeah, it's, they, they wouldn't impress people if they weren't. But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. It's because the tr tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. What? Huh? She did a magic trick? Did I forget something? What kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb. <laughs> How did she do it, Phoenix? The Fae bloodline sure is strange, isn't it? <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Wow, really? Was it like this? How did you do that? Nick, you're going to be a real magician. Yeah, uh, the lawyer business is good <laughs> sometimes. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Too complicated. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. Yeah. I still don't know what to make of that one. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Just enjoy it. It's fine. Oh. Yo, I hate this chapter, but god dang. This was on a GBA, dude. How did they? I mean, actually, it was probably upscaled for the Steam or DS version, but yo, what the dump do we do now? I don't. I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and our place. Well, we probably should go to the circus again. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? Uh, yeah. I think it was a mechanism of some sort. The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. Well, yeah, that's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? No, not Mo. Trillo, definitely. But uh, if that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. Right. That is a good point. Wow, I didn't actually think about that. There's no reason why you'd believe he flew. That would just make things more complicated. What if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that, Max. Yeah, you're really not helping my confidence, Maya. I mean, she, dude, we just gotta talk to Max about the trick. It'll suck, but homie, he can get a new trick. It'll, it'll stay between us. Better than going to jail. Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo. Well, he is sort of obnoxious, but not a murderer. That is not inherently a crime. I'm pretty sure. Well, I have nothing nice to say about the guy. That magician sure does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he said he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. Which is an overgeneralization, but also kind of probably true. He even met Ben over the head with a bottle. Why? But... Eh, what? But that doesn't mean... Doesn't that seem enough to frame another person for murder? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. Yeah. It was proven that neither Ben or Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume? But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. It is strange. Wanna see my badge? Woo! <laughs> well, your badge is real shiny. Hey, right, we get it. This one's a thinker. God dang! What we gonna do? Detention center. That's where I wanna go first. That's where my nose leads me. Max! Come on! Spit out already! Not the cards! Eh. Oh my sweeties! Your mind hurrying up and giving me out of this place? I'm tr I'm working on it. I'm we're doing our best, sir. Sir, just hang in there, okay? A little while ago, some people formed a local from a local TV station came by, and since I'm a famed magician, also a framed magician, they said, "Let's make you your very own TV special." Really? What kind of TV special? Cards! <laughs> Maximilian Galactica, The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Well, well hey, that's at least a new tr trick. 
That sounds like it'd be an awesome special. I'd watch it. If we had cable. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. <laughs> well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. Maybe now's just not the best time. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. <laughs> they work fast. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. <laughs> I know he's a, he's a turd. And you're supposed to hate him, but God, Max cracks me up. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. Wait, can you actually do that? Caught! <laughs> Pocket sand! Ha! I have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business, baby. Uh -huh. Why is the Faye theme here? I guess maybe that's just the theme for people that are in jail. Most of the time it's Maya. Uh, so, about the trial today. What do you think about it? I was thinking about this court... About this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers of the circus, or else you'll get really, really mad! Fabulous! A great joke! <laughs> Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... But making friends is nice! Cards are nice too! Take that! I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers of this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. So even if that is true, you can still be nicer to them. They're your co-workers, man. Come on. That is something that I simply cannot tolerate. What? So you hate them because they don't give everything they're all? I ain't gonna break into you, Max. Not everyone can do that. For some people to succeed, others must fail. That is reality. And French just... She, she, she going, she going down. <laughs> I will not lose. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true, true to my ears. What? Maya, what? What the heck? Go, go, continue. Immediately. Oh my. My sweetie want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told this story like 100 times already, so it's a bit boring. Please do not, uh, just, just get your facts straight, first and foremost. We're sorry to make you tell it again. Really. You must not have heard me. I'm really, really sick of telling this story. What can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Dude, you're behind bars. Please cooperate. No! Have some cards! Voila! Here, take a look at this. Can't see I'm dancing my officer. Kinda cringe, but alright, I'll allow it. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Oh, look at that. He 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 looks so happy. And flashy. My god. That's a lot of bloom. <laughs> just look at the fabulous stage. This is the first stage I flew in on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. That's... it's, it's too bad you didn't. Uh, I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim! Wow! By the way, here's some more. How do you still have a full deck? What? I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. <sighs> yeah, I don't agree. Whatever your dreams are, not everyone has to go like, you can have small dreams too. It's not the end of the world if you're not the greatest, you know, winner of the world stage. That's how I feel about it though. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. There's a trophy. Is that another thing? Hold up. Cause you know there's gonna be evidence where the dump it is. I don't get it yet. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? I'll get one from the capsule machine. That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. She looks so sad. This sprite does not work. I just wanted to, I wanted to feel good for once, Phoenix, why? My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Hey, it's a good thing I came here first, wow. Look and learn! That's what you should tell them. <laughs> learn how to get thrown in jail and be a total douchebag? Alright. Well, I'll just wrap this up. The night of the crime. You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Maybe you wanted some Wendy's and you didn't want to drive? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. 
Yeah? At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not something I can do at will. I figured. I don't care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind the flying? Uh, um, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I don't teach people tricks, but I'll say this much. It's much harder than you think. That doesn't help at all, Max, you effing... Ugh! Anyway, I want to look at this. See some bunny girls? And Max? And whatever the frick that is. Some blank cards. Okay. No, oh, and he... And, oh, he's holding a trophy in his hand. God, it was so blinding, like... I didn't even notice that. So then what the dump is that? I guess... What the frick? I thought that was the trophy. Bruh. Anyway. Jesus. He does look a lot different with the hat on. I know it's not, like, relevant at all, but, like... <laughs> He almost looks naked without it. Darling, not today. Not the time. I'm not... Uh, anyway, let's just move on. Go to the circus and show everybody just how cool Maximilian Galactic is. Uh. You hear that? It sounds like two people are arguing. At the circus? Whoa. Yeah, these guys fight a lot. Oh, no, it's him. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Wait. Quit your wine and let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. <sighs> Singing is not my strong suit. Uh, line? What are you doing? Come on! Gently down the stream. You know this. I'm trying my best, but hold up. They're doing this with no one around? That's so creepy. They don't know we're here. This boy ain't right. For a lot of reasons, but Jesus, that's bad. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work. Do you even enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, why are you gonna, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on the secret crash training course? In, in the lobby? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Secret crash training. Whoa, so cool. Y yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea of a new routine. So we're trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquist act. In a round? You can do that? That's incredible. Say, say, even they are surprised by the idea. I told you, you nincompoop. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we get a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Good luck with all that. Y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I want to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. I don't like how he phrased that. Uh... Even Ben's like, you know, now I think about the context of the situation. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll chill out. Um, I know you already testified in court today, but could you do it again and give us more clues? You want to talk about what we saw, right? Well, yeah. Well, at first I thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in that gaudy outfit. What would you have thought that it was? Wait, what would you have thought if it wasn't, if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm. Nah. What do you think, Ben? It. Uh. Um. I would have thought he was the ringmaster. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. We know the ringmaster refused to take Max's cloak. Dude, it's gotta be—it's gotta be money's stinking owner. I don't want to ask this, but the game is forcing me to. Uh. I was hoping I'd ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her now. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> but if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you just check out the tent? Oh yeah. 
Like, if she just never came out of the tent, why, do, why didn't you... Maybe they want to do with people around? I don't know. You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? I don't know magic, I admit it, but I'm trying. Ah. Waiting like this is a part of being in love. What? H how? If you had a clue, you know what... what, what waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. What? When your body aches for your partner's love, that's that's one of the best part. Your partner? You don't, what? Yeah, I, I knew all about that. <laughs> Poor Maya, she's so red, she looks like a vine ripe tomato. What? This is flying all over my head. Anyway. So how's this new routine working out? Your singing voices are so nice. Well, you two just take a chill pill already. Our routine's a secret. We're gonna take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. You know, I can't... I'm kind of I'm kind of looking down on this guy because the whole Regina thing, but ventriloquism is kind of cool, even if it is a little bit scary. Where are my Jeff Dunham fans at? I know you all out there, Jeff Dunham. That's my I don't I I liked him when I was like 11. I thought he was funny. Then he repeated all of his jokes, and I'm like, uh, I thought it was special. <laughs> wow, that sounds incredible. <laughs> well, let me make one thing clear. We're not gonna take the world just because that jerk said he, we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. What, what does he think he is? Who does he think he is? <laughs> Trillo, you seem to be real fired up about all this. Hmm. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're so right. Yeah. Mark my words. I, Triloquist, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man. Now, doll. She dabs. <laughs> is, there a, is there a gif of Ma Maya dabbing? I need to... Oh, my God. So... Row, row, row your boat. We'll be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? That's... Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? I think Phoenix does have a point, Trillo. Don't screw this up. you got to be part of this, too, you know? All right. I, uh, I kind of want to show this just to make sure. Would you mind taking a look at <gasps> this? Uh, I... What? That, uh... It isn't, um, I guess we, we won't need you to look at this after all. <laughs> well, moving on. I, uh, guess I didn't lead to much. Anything change here? Scumshoe back? Doubt it. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, I actually, like, almost inhaled, like, <laughs> like two bushes. Oh, hey, it's you, Dale. How's it going? You look like you just got hit by a truck, dude. Shouldn't you get some rest? Uh, taking a rest right now, pal. Trying to at least. Been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Ms. Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listen to that old clown sucks out all your life for- Yeah, I know. My energy was gone. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should you should do something. I don't. I, what do I do? Where's my cue? I. I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes, Gumshoe. Oh yeah, that that adds up. Uh, that would make sense. I I I know, pal. I. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laugh that much, dude? I cannot do that. I can't fake laugh. I just try like smile and go. Yup! <laughs> it's not it's not that extreme. <laughs> yup! <laughs> Why do I make my low why do I make myself laugh so much? <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh. France really set you up bad this time, didn't she? She's so mean. And he's to stay away from Phoenix. She's not just if you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. She yeah, she needs to do the legwork too. I'm out here in the wilderness. In the element? No way, pal. Come on. You're not going to get me to backbite a woman with a whip. 
What is back biting? I, I... No way! No, oh, that's not gonna happen. Ugh. Why are you defending her? <gasps> it's gumshoe in love. Oh my god. Uh, Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on her, see? We're never safe. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, there she is! <laughs> don't show up. Don't show up. Oh no, I'm scared. If she's here. Stop it. No, Gumshoe, you're scaring me! Don't say her name three times in a mirror, spin around, and have a candle! <gasps> Looks like she's wound, she's wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Like, literally, she's on the roof? That can't be good. I'm pretty sure she wears heels. Actually, no, I don't. Why did I, why did I think that? I don't think there's bad, <laughs> there's full body sprites in this game. How is that possible? Oh my God. Gordon the clown, the culprit, jumped from here disappeared into the sky. That's what happened. Means the killer passed right by this window, pal. I see. Who lives in that room behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Ms. Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. Oh, so she is doing the legwork. So don't get any ideas of going up to acrobat's room. Got it? Gotcha. Phoenix, let's go to Acrobat's room. <laughs> You're right. Franziska Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Might as well. God, poor gumshoe. God dang birds. All right, I'm out. Let's go to Mo's room. Why the dump not? What's the worst that could happen? Mo's not here, thank God. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before he stepped in the room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> How would Maya fake laugh? I don't know. What do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Huh. Maybe he's recording Let's Plays. <laughs> he must really love his work. <laughs> I guess we'll come back later. Only place we haven't checked out is the big top. Oh, no, in the big top and the ringmaster's room, but, uh. Feel bad I keep calling him Ringmaster. I don't know his name. Anyway. Huh? Where's Regina? No. I mean, she's with that tiger. I don't want to find out. Yeah, that's pretty traumatizing. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? Maya, it's a deadly animal! No, I'm just... I'm allergic to wild tigers. And chimps. You know, I've never actually met a chimp. I hope I can one day. Anyway, hey, Regina, you in here? Ah! <laughs> right. Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous cafeteria. Uh, I'm a Wookiee, apparently. <sighs> All right, you know what time it is. Riddle time! Woo! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Boy, you know, I ain't crying. I love that food. Mm. Uh, come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is probably, possibly a weapon of bowel destruction. Buzz, wrong. Try again. I don't want to. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um... I got it. Okay, what's your answer, little missy? Because they are in the cafe teary eye. Hold up. Because they are... I, listen, I have bad reading comprehension. And 99% of my channel is reading. But because they are in the cafe teary eye. My... Uh, that... You walking home. I ain't driving you back. <laughs> exactly. That was right. That's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. I did it. Yay. What's going on? He's being too nice. Did you possibly see the error of your ways on today's trial? Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? <laughs> You're telling me. I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Don't say, oh, the crowd was so tough. Yeah! It was a tough crowd. Oh, my effing God. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. Seriously. Get some humor. Ugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning. 
I had to smash watermelons. Oh, yeah, that, that that's a... God, that's an old reference, bro. What? I told them all a great story, even greater jokes. But no one busted out laughing. You even used the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. How did that feel? I, I, yeah, I know, right? How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Me when the video doesn't get f <laughs> enough likes. Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? Yup! <laughs> I saw what I saw. I swear, that creep just whoosh. Flew through the air, huh? It wasn't exactly flying, plus say, it was eh, more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a cyclock, he must be telling the truth. Huh. That's all we get out of him? Uh, can try some stuff, I guess. Ah, not this picture. They showed it to you guys too. Ugh, this guy. Uh, you seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. That... What? That is that is usually said... Alright, I'm not the best innuendo, but that is usually said... Is he a man whore? What? I... <laughs> yeah. M Maya, stop! Oh, yeah! He didn't just show me the picture. Uh, what do you mean? He showed me this bust. What? Oh, the thing in the picture. Let me tell you, that thing's enormous! It's in the picture, I think. <laughs> He'd make us worship it every day, made us bow to his greatness. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't think Regina should see him either. He's got a big bust. Okay. I want to hear more about his... Phoenix, stop. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. <laughs> God dang it, Phoenix, why? All right. I don't remember how to get into the, uh... Oh, right there. Perfect. Anything changing here? Hello? How's it going? Any dead bodies? Max and the ringmaster... Max and the ringmaster are talking in this room. It could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. But he says he didn't. Why'd he do that anyway? Wasn't it that... Was it really that cold? Dude, am I nuts or what? Like, I swear. He... Frick, I didn't mean to do that. He said he declined the request for the jacket. I, I want to look at this again. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that Maya. Hmm. Phoenix, be nice. D is it just me or is Phoenix really sassy all of a sudden? Not a fan. What? A scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat of the pocket. I clicked on that before, and it did not register to now. Wait, where? Where? <gasps> Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Also, the dead people. Uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Stop fighting, please. <laughs> I want to click on this! Why would you let me click on it? It's obviously something important. Ugh. I'm going to double check everything and see if things out of place. I know it's a god dang... GBA game, but man, I really wish the game memorized what I clicked on. What do I did in it from like older? Uh... Oh snap! There's the picture right there. Holy don't. Anyway, uh, couldn't find nothing, and I'm confused. Do we go back to Max? I don't know. Is there anything here? Oh, dump. There was. How did I miss that? I'm a fool. Yup. Okay, let's go. Max bust should be on the table over there. So that's not where he ate. He what? He he keeps his trophy in the cafeteria. Just keep it in your room. What? There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of forgot. When was it? I I'd say about five days ago. All of a sudden, the bus disappeared. Disappeared. You really want to see it? There's a photo on the bulletin board over there. How did we miss this? Guy, it looks like Twisted Fate. If Twisted Fate and had a skin where <laughs> he was a part of Kiss to explain the stars, but Max just had to put that picture up. Uh, yeah, he's. God, this guy is so annoying. Yup! Okay. 
This thing is really cool. Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Maya, this game is old. They don't sell merch anymore. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Maya, stop. Oh God, Phoenix, stop being mean to Maya. Just humor her. Like, maybe when you're famous, too. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope. Nothing changed that I can see. I want to be... <laughs> I, I can't stop making myself Yup! Like, where did that come from? I can't get over it. That has to be, like, something someone said in, like, high school, and I'm, like, remembering it. Why is it so funny? John, shut up and read! I'm working... Okay. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he's just setting up a bad joke. No, I think he's serious now. No, no, I'm... I'm drawing a blank here. A quiet Mo is a good Mo. All right, he's cooperative today. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is one tiny little thing that doesn't seem diff does seem different. Please tell us, please, what is different? I'm grasping for straws. Well, on the morning of the crime over that bulletin board over there, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but it, I could see the title. Uh, oh no. It says, to the murderer? What the heck? That's what I'm saying. But the rest of it's been ripped off. Crazy. And I don't know who posted it. When did you find this? The morning before the murder. So this was this was really premeditated. Dude, that almost confirms it. Max Max was set up. Before the murder? What? Yeah. The ringmaster was killed the night after the paper was discovered, after all. Who in the world posted this thing? Posted in the cafeteria on the day on the day of the crime. Then torn. States to the murderer. Nick, I think we'd be better follow up on this important lead. Yeah, no kidding. I got, I, we got, we got to get Max's side of the story. Hey yo, what up with this? Come on. Do you know anything about this? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I don't know why I'm giggling. Oh, I know all about that now. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Uh, your heart skipped a beat. While I was enjoying my morning tea next to my bus, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? Cards in your face, take that! I guess it wasn't really company, it was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. Okay, details are important here. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red, and all of a sudden he tore it off the wall and shoved it in his pocket. Thank you, dude. I finally, we can't just look at the thing. Uh, I guess I guess Phoenix is right, though. It is rude to look through people's things. Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh-huh. I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. What the? Come on. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. How long last we can look in the freaking thing, okay. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved in the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what this is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us, huh? Then let's hurry up and combine them! I have my tape right here. Uh, that, that's okay, we can just put it, put it on the table. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the lodging house plaza. Dude, that's how they... This isn't to set up Max. This was... This was to get... The ring... The ringmaster... Dude, that's huge. What the heck? What murder happened? Tonight at 10 p.m. And that's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. We won't know. The the. It's like a ransom note. It's anonymous. Ugh. Dude, we gotta talk to Regina. I don't know where the dumb she at though, and that's kind of a big effing problem. Is she? 
Is she in Moe's room? Oh, hey, Gumshoe. What up? I guess this is important because uh, he's back. Hey, Gumshoe. I'm sure you did a good job as usual. High five. I'm not feeling it. Sorry, kiddo. I am done with the investigation of the uh, acrobat. Is he going to be like, is he going to have wings? I feel like they're going to do a pun of him being a bat. Oh, with Miss Von Karma. Ah, what the? Jesus. That sounds awful. Stop it. Ah. Nick, what is that awful, dreadful sound which is piercing my ears? Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Ah, my pager. Ah. Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Oh, God. Some sort of pager or something? Uh, you don't mind, pal. I'm gonna... I gotta go quick. I'm gonna get out of here. See you later. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. I'm freezing out here. When's a... Ah, ah! <gasps> you did not do that. It's biting a, lashes from a whip. Haha. <laughs> I'm... You're dead. You're going to court. She's a... Frick, she's an adult now. But that's... That's illegal! Von Karma. Mm, you make me so mad. Maya's just a little... Oh, they're the same age. She don't care! She really did appear. Oh my god, she makes me so mad. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, I'm on a losing streak, but Phoenix is so lame. Oh, <laughs> it was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix? Right. Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Von Karma, tomorrow would be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making national news. For some reason. <laughs> national news? You possess such small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I thought she said that last time. What? I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge and a win in a very not big deal court case. It's about, a, I guess, a famous magician. Uh, quit pointing at me. Never. What's your deal anyway? Hey, you want to see my badge? It's effing cool. What about it? Huh? Ow! You... <clears throat> Phoenix, she hit me again. Maybe she shouldn't hold off on the wild goose chases. No, what? Shh, shh. I'm seething with rage. Monkey, attack. What about the? <laughs> All right, enough of that. So, what do you want to talk about? I can only imagine. Miss Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something big, huh? Something real scary that I can't easily disprove with logic. I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags over your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness, a conclusive victory, a conclusive we get it. He must mean the acrobat guy, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, yeah, I get it already. You want to beat me and destroy me and destroy me and beat me? And, uh, I can't worry about her. Got to find out more information myself. Yeah, get out of here. Get, uh, listen, I'm exhausting this dialogue, so get out of my face. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? Your dad tased me like a mean guy. Come on. Doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. Dang. Wait, did he actually get like the death penalty? I mean, I know it was murder, but. Dang, you know she's ticked. Maybe she's not. Maybe she always hated her dad. My dad. You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course I do. Who else could I mean? Duh. Enough of you. One more word and you get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or in any other conversation? I don't have time for you. Like, you, that's why, like, dude, I ain't dumb. Why, could you just really hate me for no reason? Then what's this whole revenge thing you're talking about if it's unrelated, which I highly doubt? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? You could try to tell me. I have to see him again. One more time. 
Edgeworth? Like, uh... I'm sure you know who I'm referring. Miles Edgeworth! What? What a plot twist! Who saw this coming? I did it! I mean... Okay, what's... Do, 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 what's your beef with Edgeworth? M Mr. Edgeworth? But he's dead! M M Miles Edgeworth? What? What? I mean, it makes sense. Thinking, wasn't wasn't Von Karma her dad? Also a tutor to him. I guess they know each. They probably have met. Miles Edgeworth. Why would you bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? I may have. Please tell me. Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Manfred Von Karma. Ah, exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was. Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. I'm sure he's older than you. But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Are you are you delusional? Like, he's also very tall, very handsome, and he dresses really Maya, shut up. He does though. Like look at that suit. God. <laughs> Johnny, stop with your thirst! I'm sorry. I wish I could pull off the uh the cravat, whatever that is. Uh, the man who inspired me to become an attorney. Edgeworth. I fought against him in a few cases. I even got him out of sinking jail. But a lot after that, the case was over. What happened to Edgeworth? No! He vanished? You're kidding. You don't have to rise from the ashes? Like, come on. Wait, that's gotta be- wait, what? That's gotta be... a... retcon of some kind, because he was in... Rise from the Ashes, the last chapter of Phoenix Wright 1. He was in the ending credits to Phoenix Wright 1. It, w it was what I assumed he was still acting as a prosecutor. What the crud happened? It's your fault he's gone! Eh. What? It's the truth. Yup. Isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I don't know. Nick, what does she mean? What did you do to Edgeworth? What the frick? Huh? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then with the case after that one. Dog. What? I know Edgeworth's dramatic, but god dang, boy! He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. But he's not dead, right? All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. That's just not true. Then, then, then the side series is just like, what the? F that's just not. That's f. That's just not. I can't believe it. Now I think about it, I. I don't know what to believe. I'm so upset. What the heck? They just killed a main character like that off screen? That's effed up! It was a few months after you left to go back home, Maya. Mr. Edgeworth is. He's dead. I don't believe it. I'm effing. I'm so. I almost shed real tears. Because I loved Edgeworth. He was such an effing. Mm, I hate this game! This one in particular! <laughs> He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in the world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name of Von Karma. I'm going to find him, and then I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. Nick, this lady's got problems, but about Edgeworth... Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me, okay? What? <laughs> She's... Phoenix is so mean! Maya, what is happening? Nick? Miss Von Karma? Yes? I don't know if you're a God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had enough of you. Him too! What? What in the world happened? Hmm. <laughs> This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you to today. 
tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country's ever seen. Well, the stage is set. The world stage, I guess you could say. Nick, are you gonna stop being passive aggressive to me this chapter? I'm real. My feelings are really hurt. Let's go, Maya. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up again, Nick. Please forgive me. <laughs> Can we just get hamburgers and continue to be friends? God dang it. What the dump? Uh, this is not how I imagined the acrobat at all. Nice burst, though. <laughs> you must be Phoenix Wright. Uh, yeah, hi. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But, what? But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Okay. Gotcha. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you definitely show up here. Acro, you're a real, you're a member of the circus as well, right? That's correct. I maintain, I mainly perform on the tightrope. I'm the flying trapeze, but you're not to, hey, I'm not trying to like jump to conclusions, but homie, you're, you're not, you're in a wheelchair. What? But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Yeesh. Uh, well, you want to see my badge? It's really cool. What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside of this room. Oh, oh, we're sorry. That was not a funny one. God dang, what? Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. <laughs> okay, so can we chat about, uh, you know, the circus and, you know, uh, God. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid. My parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all. Without me. That's evil, bruh. My god. The only person who was willing to take my partner's place. No, take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. Seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint, huh? He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. Such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Where the heck is Regina? Hold up. There's no way Regina killed her own dad, right? Is that a possibility? No, that just doesn't add up. She has no motive. What does she have to gain losing her dad? She was going to inherit the business anyway. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Uh, what? Do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? What the heck? Yo. What's going on about that? What the heck? I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? I know it's kind of like, it was one of those things I shouldn't like ask about, but like, I'm really curious. The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. You can't walk. I can't even stand. And since I live on the third floor, I cannot even leave this building by myself. You know, maybe a room swap would have been a good idea. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um. What? What the heck? Oh. Oh my god. Well, this makes things interesting. Cyclox. He's not, he's not being 100% honest. He's not outright lying. He's not outright the villain in all this. But he doesn't want us to know something. Weird. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Ah, well, uh, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. And the world went on at the circus then. 
What was six months ago? Oh, come on, think, think, think. This, this came up before, right? All right, uh, let's... Uh, I stopped by yesterday and noticed you weren't in the room. What was going on? I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you were there for rehabilitation. What about the murder? Of course. I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go into the hospital. Before I got a call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. He couldn't believe it. Dang. I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw. What did you see? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. Is he talking about the dead body, or... Did, did you witness him hunched over? What? Whoa, this is... This is a whole new angle on all this, bro. What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was below your window. That's when I looked out the window. You see. What did you see? Please be. What the crud? He was flying straight up in the air. I mean, Max. Maximilian Galactica. He saw him? What the heck? That's what I thought she'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Dude, the Cyclox didn't come up. What? The Cyclox kind of cheating, bro. Like, we can, we can... They're kind of overpowered, but... Nick... Can we talk about Regina, though? Like, what the... What's your beef with her? Were you jealous that she was the ring man? I mean, I, I, I say it in a goofy voice, but that is a plausible thing to think. Man. Regina was actually Russell's, you know, family. And maybe Acro was jealous of that because, you know, he lost his... Homie cannot catch a break. His family abandoned him. Like, how could you just abandon your own son? That's so evil, bro. And then... His, like... More or less... Not replacement father, but you know what I'm getting at. Just up and dies, too? Like, god dang. I hit the wrong button. Wait, why can't I... Why can't I present this? What? Oh, you have to do it from here, I assume? Yeah, okay. So what about her? Regina. She's cool and cute. Isn't she? Can you believe she's such a cute girl as an animal tamer? <gasps> Shocker. Uh, it seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. That's bad. Max, the ringmaster. Ben, she's got all of them under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Maybe I went a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. Kind of like Pearl, not being able to leave the... the village, I guess. That's why she can be so cruel. Dude. How is this gonna spin into being Regina? What the heck? Regina is just like the animals she claims to tame. She's innocent. Thus, she can be cruel. Like an animal. She doesn't know any better. Well, maybe not that far, but... I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. We gotta find Regina. Hold the effing... Hey, can we talk about a monkey? She in here? No, friggin'... Dude, where's she at? Oh my god! Can we please go on the roof? Like, I'm... It can't be that hard to get up there, bruh. I'm sorry. I keep also spacing between the... Maybe to the entrance? No? Dude, she's just gone! Bro, what is that? Ooh. <laughs> she's here, dude. What's up? Grr. The demon from Shimagami Tensei 3 knocked her? I've got a bad feeling about this. Grr. Gra. Ah, uh, Nick! Oh my wonderful today's special must be Phoenix and Filet. Oh my Stay! Say heal. I don't remember Regina's voice. I'll be honest. This character, I just, I don't know. I've all, I, I was always suspicious of her, but now, hmm. Oh, Maya, Nick, 
It's you guys. Hey, you're not allowed to call me Nick. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. <laughs> <clears throat> a monkey? What? Let me guess. You got beef with... Oh, wait. I, I picked the wrong thing. So about your dad. It's a pity what happened, right? Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. Does she even know? That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. A while? For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens? It's kind of sweet. But also, you gotta, you gotta realize the reality of the situation. Your dad was murdered. I bet there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? I didn't say that out loud. What? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Uh, of course. Duh, you already are. You really think so? Yeah, of course you will. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's all right with Regina. Yeah, I... Uh, hey, what about a monkey, though? Thoughts? Opinions? Do, do, do you like monkeys? I I, I, I want to try that before I, I do this, I guess. I want to see the reaction. He just loves to cause nothing but trouble. That cute little monkey. But don't you think he's using a tiger to scare him is a bit much? Hmm. Why is that? Do, do you really have to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tri tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. Regent's just a little kitten. Uh, I've seen plenty of kittens. This girl, she ain't right, bruh. She gives me the creeps. I'm sorry. Just to go back and clear something up, why did you want to teach the monkey a lesson? Or money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? Must be something shiny, right? Um... Actually, it's a stage costume. I've got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should. What? When the costume gets hit by spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Yeah. If you saw the monkey, you'll get my costume back for me, won't you? You just attacked me with your lion! It's really important to me. Uh, why are these all exclamation points? Yeah, I'll get it for you. God. Leave it to us. Guess there's no turning down the request. You're really gonna do it? Yay. <sighs> Where the monkey at? Where he at? Oh, that's pretty lucky. I found him instantly, I guess. Wait, Mo's gone. There's a message on the bulletin board. I'm hungry, so I'm off to get some hamburgers. Love, Mo. Mmm, hamburgers. You want to believe, guys, while recording a Let's Play of a text-based adventure game? I'm hungry. Can you imagine that? Am I eating hamburgers? Mm. I got some bison in the fridge. Ooh. Just thinking about this is making me so hungry. All of a sudden, I need a burger bed. All of a sudden, I need a new partner bed. Phoenix, you're so... Mm. I am probably reading into things too much, but man, he just... He's causing a ruckus. Not a fan. Hmm. Money is a great friend to me. That pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring anything back with him. Aw, that's so cute. But hey, do you happen to have... Yeah. I'm not great with the ladies. What? But I seem to be pretty popular with the animals. That is a very odd time to bring that up, but all right, I'm, uh, head out. 
<laughs> Would you like me to sign this for you? I'm normally fabulous, but in this picture, I'm king of the world. Got a fabulous trophy and a super fabulous bust. I... Have we seen this dialogue before? If you want to see one of my awards, you should just go to the cafeteria. Hmm? The cafeteria? You mean the one inside the circus tent? Of course. The trophy isn't there, but the bust that I won is. It's not. It, it's in the cafeteria. We were there just yesterday. Nick, see a bust anywhere inside the cafeteria? I don't think I did. Maybe we should head back. I can't find the effing monkey, so... I seriously looked in every effing thing other than Wright & Co. Detective Agency. Anything new in here? Uh, you're kidding. I guess maybe examine this? This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here. Max has written on it. Must be the VIP. T no, it's just repeating dialogue. Don't Where the dump is the monkey? Okay, so... A lot of people probably won't like this, but after spending nearly 25 minutes of this recording session, looking around, talking to people, I said, enough is enough. I had I had to look up what to do next. I'm sorry. That takes away from the blind experience, but it's the truth. I'm screwed. I, and I don't even remember what the freak it said. And to open up the browser again, I'd have to... Like, shut off the recording. So, I think the guide said... Something about the pepper, for sure. So, we gotta we gotta show that to her. Do you know anything about this? How the dump I'm supposed to put that together? I don't know. That's pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Uh, it's from the cafeteria? Yeah, that's where you get pepper from, idiot. It's not. I remember seeing it there. Hmm. So, this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of Pepper. I didn't ask. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure we have to talk about this. Regina, have you seen this before? Uh, I know what that is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket. The, the, the piece of paper was in your pocket? So her dad gave it to her? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yup! I always take Acro. I take Acro his breakfast in the morning. What? That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yup! <laughs> but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. It's b belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I remember the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it in the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I snuck it up there. How'd you know? So it was Regina who put it up there. How did it get in her pocket? Was it money? Was that, was that what he did? When did this happen? The morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Me, a murderer? Come on. Note updated, found in Regina's pocket. The morning of the crime. Dude. Well, now I still don't know where the F money is. I still gotta get, wait, maybe, maybe it's in... Maybe Acro has updated? I don't know. Going to luck. I feel real, like, legitimately bad. Like, it, I, it's just, dude, I'm clueless. Like, how was I... How was I supposed to know this crap? Hey, hey, dude. Know about this? No, you don't. Crap. Wait, what? In the cafeteria. That is where you found this? It wasn't repeat dialogue. I'm sorry I didn't read dialogue. <gasps> What happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? I guess that's our tip to... How did I not show him that? I showed him this, 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 and he says like... I didn't show him that, actually. He says like, it's not from my room. I don't know what that is. Regina, ask her about it. Okay, and while I'm at it, might as well talk about this chest. What do you think of this? Sorry, but my present condition, I don't really know much. Okay, yeah, got it.
I did not mean to click on Moe's room, but something changed in here. Holy dump. Hmm. Moe's not here. Guess he's getting hamburgers. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Oh, no. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> it's money. No. That money. Monkey's holding something. That That's the thing. That means a lot to Regina. Don't call it a thing. It's literally an object. All right. Time to take on this monkey. Attorney stop. What the frick? Yo! I got you cornered, monkey! <laughs> I won't be bested! Right hook! Update the autopsy report on the monkey! Whoop bam Oh, never hurt an animal. But whoop bam I tried to have a monkey-to-monkey -monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick. I'm scared. <laughs> I swiped it while money was distracted. I hit him with a hypothetical, you see. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Good job. Let me see, let me see. Uh, you can see it frying from where you are. No, I want to wear it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to try it on. No, Maya. It's not your size. Also, it doesn't belong to you. Also, Regina's weird. Uh, maybe then you'll take <laughs> take you on to the circus and get some peace and quiet. <laughs> he is so mean! I thought they were best friends. I'm so distraught. What's the matter now, Maya? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh, well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burger. Stop! Stop it right now! You do not... Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl would... I know, would actually wear. Maybe it's not meant for a girl after all. And is instead made for a monkey. Hmm... Hmm. Well, if that was the case, money probably wouldn't let us get it, but whatever. All right, here's your crap. There you go. Uh, that took me... God, my... I don't even know if I'll be able to get this video up today. Jeez. Here you go, Regina. Ah, thank you. You really got it back for me. Yeah. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. I don't care. No wonder... God, shut up. I don't care. Uh, Phoenix? I am not Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright... Two other kin? Nah! Phoenix Wright 2 sucks, bro! F this! I like the first and second trial though. Bite! Frick! Hey Regina, that costume's yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Le Leon's? So it was for the tiger? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that got killed. Wait a minute! Hold up! That's also a murder! Regina, tell me more. I wonder what they mean by murder. It's like some sort of soap opera. It's kind of strange. Strange is too nice of a word. What's up? What do I do now? If... Who made this note? Found in Regina's pocket the morning of the crime. Someone slipped this note to someone. My theory is this is from Acro, who has some issues with Regina. He he clearly doesn't like her. What did Regina do, bro? What the heck? Please, please be some clue. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. <gasps> it is Mo. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bistro Dig Circ. K, aka the cafeteria. Mmm, smells so good in here. Oh, those burgers look great. Can I have one? She's ruling like she's sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. Ah, it's half mayo, half mustard, half relish, by the way. But ah, you didn't hear that from me. They're absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for burgers. Eat your burgers, Apollo. <laughs> One bite will send you in a hamburger heaven. So, in the Japanese version, he's making sushi? That's not usually something you make at home. I I mean, I've, I've had it at a house before, but... I bet. I can tell by the smell. Woo-wee! Getting hungry, too. Yes, yeah, same, and I need to go eat. This burger must have some kind of special power. All right, buddy. Hey, so, uh, about the burgers. <laughs> now that Ringmaster's gone, what are you going to do, Mo? That's all I've thought about the last two days. 
Everyone loved Russell. You heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was, th he was that upset? Jeez. Yeah, he was. Anyway, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster suit, yo. Yo, hold up. As much as I dislike Mo, that might be a positive like change in his life, dude. Go for it, I say. What, really? But you'd be so bad at it, Maya. What? Max. Would still be an issue, though. <sighs> Max. He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Yeah, but still, you could be nicer about it. You're not totally in the wrong for hating him, Mo. He is a turd. As are you. As is Phoenix. Everyone but Maya, Pearl, and Gumshoe. And Edgeworth, but he's dead, apparently. Uh, all that's left to see is if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy, you know. What's he talking about? Something tells me about the lion that died. Hmm. Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Oh, don't don't worry about it. It's nothing at all. What? He must mean the death of the ringmaster, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You're right, girl. No, it's about Leon. Correct, Amundo. Doesn't he mean ding, ding, ding? Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us right now? Oh, I don't, no, 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 not at all. What makes you think that? <laughs> Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, seemed a bit strange. I don't follow. What? It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Uh, 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 I don't know how to do this on a monopia. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Come on. Yep, I figured. What happened with this lion? I, I hope I have the tools for this yet. Jeez. I seriously don't know how much longer this investigation. This is a long episode. So, now we're getting closer to the truth. Dude, if you just told me this at the start, ugh, then there'd be no game, Johnny. I know. I know. But dude, seriously, Mo, shame. I feel, I feel you, though, but shame! It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident, so he's not talking about Acro. Give me a break, us old men of accidents, I swear! I wear big pants for a reason! <laughs> poo poo humor. Okay, I, I make the same jokes, but six months ago. Six months ago. Right. I know that was mentioned, but that was so long ago, I've completely forgotten. Great. Well, time to do my magic. Not even my magic. It's been so long since I heard Take That. I, that's, that made me jump. I forgot what Phoenix even. At least it's only two. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Think this through, think this through. We don't want to repeat of chapter two. Good God. And chapter three, and probably the rest of the franchise. But get over it? What do you mean? Mo, well, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay, no need to look at me all scary when you ask me. Sorry, I'm serious. Look over there, some juicy burgers. Oh, let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich guy myself. Same though. God, it's eerie how similar we are, Phoenix. Not always grilled, but usually grilled. Listen, I know I'm weird. I I love sushi, though. Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of the accident, would it? Why do I still have two HP, bruh? F this. What caused the accident? This is six months ago, so it can't be the broken bottle. We... what the crud? Does the lion get a profile? Do I mention Regina? Dump! It can't be money. I wanna... The problem is, we don't... Oh my god, there's more to the thing. I can read it again, thank god. To the murderer. You haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight. 
Dude. This doesn't mean I'm for sure it has to be the lion. I'm gonna try this if it fails. What about this? Looks tasty. Oh my effing god. Regina, give me the oh my god. How did I miss this? What the crud? Golly, that is an HD lion. Look at that fella. Leon. He was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. What the crud? W why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down. Then he opened his mouth, you know. Gar. Yeah, as lions do. Usually, when he did that, he would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, yeah. Wait, well, that's really dangerous. What the heck? It sure is. And I sure did put my head in his mouth. The people in the crowd always love seeing someone do that. They always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved you seeing you do that? It's kind of scary. Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh, yeah. Leon bit something during that practice. R Regina, everything was all right, though, right? No, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Something tells me... He bit Acro. Because what other thing could Leon bite that would cause such a reaction? Acro tells us he received... Didn't he tell us he received... He mentioned it was six months ago, too. It has to be that. Poor t poor thing. This the lion, yeah! Cool, dude! All right! God, this... Ugh. I want to sincerely apologize. This... This, uh, this is not... Oh, yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta do the thing first. This ain't my finest work, but I'm trying, darn it! Oh, I'm trying! This wouldn't happen to be the cause of the accident! The... Wait, he's not in the thing! Tom, is he... Oh, he's in this. Okay, great. There we go. Hey. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice. Right? Ah! How did... Oh! Oh, look at that. His mouth is the same as his head. Uh, that's creepy. Boom. I told them so many times, Phoenix. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head, like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. <sighs> A big mistake, Leon. Come on. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to the girl. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? It's Acro. It has to be. Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, uh, promise I wouldn't say anything. You promised who? He's involved in this too. Yep, figured. Mo. Must be talking about. It's Acro. Leon bit him on the leg, and now he can't walk anymore. Injured both of his legs while training six months ago. It doesn't say training in acrobatics. Dude. That's it. Obviously, Johnny, just press it. I'm sorry. I, it must have been Acro, right? Ah, uh, how'd you know? I am not the dumbest guy in the world. It takes me a bit, no. Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No! No! That makes no logical sense at all! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please, tell me what you know. Ah, fine. I'm sorry, Acro. That's what I wanted. Is it Acro or Regina? Who's behind all this? It's most likely Acro. Think about it. But then how did he... Dude, what? I guess it would be a whole, like, Oh, I could actually walk because of my uh, rehabilitation. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, how? get over it. What are you guys talking about? That's just like I said. You know, the accident. Did someone <laughs> die? Maya, pay attention. Got it. No, but... 
Oh my god, this song's so sad. I have chills. It would have probably been better if someone did die. What? How would that have been better, Mo? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. C coma? What are you talking about? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever gonna be able to do. But, M Mo, that's not true. I, I, what? How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Oh my god. No way. The person who got bit was Acro's brother. He didn't mention that. His brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro and Bet. Oh, uh, that's so bad. Cute nicknames! Or so I thought. Anyway, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. This changes the whole angle. Who is Acro's younger brother? Scene dingling. But everyone always calls him Bat. He fell in love with Regina. You're effing kid! What the frick? Trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seemed to fall in love with Regina. Wow, this is so... Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why did he do that? I just don't know. But that's what caused the accident. Oh my effing god. That's horrific. Ah, uh, I have chills. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... Smiling. You mean Leon? Yeah. When he bit down, he was smiling. That's so cruel. Oh my god. Some sick grin. Dude. That's so... That's impossible. A smirking lion, a flying murderer, what the heck? Why does it seem that's always Mo catches all these... I know Mo... God, I can't even blame the guy. He's had to deal with all this? Jeez, man. I've never 180'd so much on a character in my life. Poor guy. Nick, can lions smile? I... I'm no lion expert. We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we did. God. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and... He shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Wow, well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. Come on. All this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a good old-fashioned American West Coast burger. Mmm. Made straight from the best rice patties in the... I mean, on the... Ah, uh, here. You two have some pepper. Shaka, 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Uh, uh, two. I can't, I can't sneeze on demand. Nice one. Right on the burgers. You know, people are trying to eat over here, Missy. <laughs> what a wonderful sneeze. Ah. You think so? I'll do it again. <laughs> ah, you sneeze with Peppa and slip on a banana peel. That's the basic of clownmanship. Girly, I know you gotti understand that. The gotti reference doesn't really work. I don't know what that means. I think I'd make a good clown, right, Nick? No comment. Other than Regina, I'd never seen a cutest sneezer. <laughs> oh, stop. Does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with Peppa, you see. That. Huh. From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. <laughs> they look perfect, huh? I. We going. We 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 gotta talk. A anything new here? No. Nope. Okay. Acro. Now has plenty. I thought he. Dude, I thought he was the murderer. Legit. I'm surprised it wasn't whatever his name is singing Trilo or whatever the freak. Anyway, navigating this room takes forever, but ah, oh, 
Mr. Wright, back again, I see. Yeah, he said we'll be right back. It took like half an hour, but... Or was that for someone else? I don't remember. <laughs> We're back because Acro's hiding his legs were injured. He must have heard the accident six months ago. It seemed that he knows that he knows what we know. Well, seems you've got things you want to talk about. So far away. Uh, someone's oddly uh, persuasive. Is that is that my cue to bring up the lion? I'll try. What do you think of this? Ugh. I guess I'll try the Magatama. Here we go! Come on! I got this. We got enough tools, right? We pretty much figured all this out. I'm gonna all this out. But the Pepper, it's his brother. He hates Regina. I mean, he hates Regina, because what happened with the lot? Okay, let's just go. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice, okay. Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it a secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Do we bring up the lion? No, but that, that was his brother, not him. Did something maybe happen with the lion too? It's worth a shot. I got the help for it. Wow, what? I'm so What the- Leon? Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's why you were injured. I'm- Oh my god, what? He attacked him too? What? I know I'm right. Just gotta keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I am an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using here. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. True, maybe an incident happened. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. That makes so much more sense. Phoenix, you're smart. You're so mean to Maya. Say sorry. You seem to be enjoying telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight because you were trying to save somebody. Maybe your brother. Just a thought. But it was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got into that terrible injury. Dang. I'm actually performing well. What the? Mo. He must have told you. I know. We we learned about that from Mo. But a man's gonna be sent to jail. Come on, I have to. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. Good guy, Phoenix. Shouldered the blame. A slip of the tongue. Hmm. Anyway, they're an incredible team. Cut down in their prime. Cut down together. That was the slip. Dude, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that. I thought just like, you know, he was trying to save his brother and like, he got bit on the legs or something. I mean, that, that is what he's saying, but, you know, that's the hard evidence. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together like always. I see. Did you guys hear my stomach growl? God, that was loud. But an accident is an accident. It's not anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's last cyclock. Must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't like mu very much. Oh, wait, someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. It's gotta be Regina. He's the only person he has beat. He doesn't even hate Max. Wait, if he don't hate Max, what gives? He should be going after Regina. Wait, maybe he's... No, that's not that big brain. We know he doesn't like Regina. He can... He... he he's at least on good terms, it seems, with Mo. I gotta go with my gut. It's... It's Regina. You hate her, don't you? Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. It's kind of funny, actually. Saying things like, she is cruel. 
Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. Ah, shucks. Uh, her tiger tried to attack me, so I, I, you know, put two and two together. Regent tried to attack you. Yeah, twice. It was played for laughs, but I wasn't laughing. I was legitimately concerned. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat. Are you? Well, no, I don't think so. Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to hurt my little brother. Right, after all, they, they were an item. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. You still hate Regina. I've got proof of that. What? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, maybe I overdid it again. Aw, oh, crap. But I can hand something over to Acro. Maybe it'll... It's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Found in Regina's pocket. Mentions she's a murderer. Where, where's the line? To the murderer. Literally the first line. How'd I miss that? Makes sense to me. Where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. When she was visiting you to get you your breakfast. I guess I noticed it around breakfast time. I always take Acro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? Acro, come on. That's right. Well done, Mr. F Phoenix Wright. Dude. I'm s is it is this supposed to be obvious who the killer is? Cuz I don't know. Unless Regina is going to be like two-faced like I always hated my father. He never taught me Sith powers. Like what? Is it Acro? Cuz I'm not feeling like it is. How is he even capable of something like that if he's wheelchair bound, bro? My legs were injured by Leon 6 months ago. My younger brother Bat had I dare with Regina. A dare? God, kids be crazy! An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. My god, bro. Just ask her out! God dang! That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that line was... Very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. <laughs> that's so mean. What the? <laughs> I was not expecting this trial to be such a tearjerker. God dang it. <laughs> Poor Bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me. And that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. God, dude, this guy needs a hug. My God. But yo, if you murdered, if you murdered the ring, why would you murder the ringmaster? I don't understand anything. What the crud? Bat and Regina. They were such good friends. Oh yes, I wanted you to take a look at this. What the heck is that? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross. It's covered in blood. It's kind of smelly. Maya, this is a clue. Shut up. The scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Wait, hold up. I just thought of a possible motive. What if the ringmaster did not want Bat and Regina to date? There's no way he'd be that- No, he was the nicest guy ever! He wouldn't do that! Bro, what is going on? 
Oh, well, uh, oh my god, get it off the screen. When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression of Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick. I know. Mo said the same thing. Why do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Oh my god, Von Karma, shut the dump up. It's her, wow. Von Karma, here you are again. You're kind of, like, stalking me, actually. I don't like that. I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. Never. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. It doesn't belong to you. This is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparation now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? My, we already knew this. Come, Acro. To the office! Whoosh. Yes, ma'am. Man, this sucks, bro. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. <laughs> Look at you all full of confidence. Yeah. Um, you must have found something you can use, huh? Well, I'm thinking. This is all beginning to come together now. A little bit at a time. I'm gonna need some help, though. God dang, this one's a thinker. Jesus. Yup! 